Necron 99. All right, hey everybody, what's up? It's 99, and uh, today's day, it's finally here. Audio Bus is now supported by Beatmaker 2. So I'm going to show you today how to use Audio Bus inside Beatmaker 2. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up Beatmaker 2. Going to load a new project. And right now I'm just going to open up a drum machine. You're probably wondering why I didn't open up an audio track. And that's because I'm going to open up uh, Audio Bus, and Audio Bus automatically loads an audio track for you when you select uh, an output or an input device. I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and load up Audio Bus. And for output, I'm going to select Beatmaker 2. And input, I'm going to go ahead and select, um, let's do Animo. And you have to tap it to launch it because it's in a sleeping state right now since I haven't loaded it already. So now it's going to load Animo. And then it goes back to audio book, or I'm sorry, audio bus. Okay, so now we got Animog here, and it's going into Beatmaker 2. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna open up Animog and select a. Uh, I'm gonna select a preset. I'm gonna select a a lead. Let's try this one. All right, let's do that. I like that one. And I'm also gonna change my BPM to 90 so that it matches my Beatmaker 2 project uh, tempo. Okay, and see, and now over here, you have a sidebar that uh, Audio Bus loads up. So you can tap it here, and it expands. So let's go ahead and tap on the Beatmaker 2 icon. It's going to expand, and now you have these options here. And you can tap this, uh, this arrow going back to what looks like another screen. So it's going back to the Beatmaker 2 app. <coughs> you can do that over here. Go back to Animo. Or... When on the Beatmaker 2 tab, you have the uh, back to start button right here. That's That brings the cursor in Beatmaker 2 all the way back to start. And then you have the play button there. And that'll just play. The metronome's on. If you stop it, I'm going to go back to the beginning. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Beatmaker 2 real quick. So let's go back. And here you can see that Audio Bus loaded the Beatmaker 2 um, audio track. We can open that. You can see it's set for uh, Animo audio output. Uh, I've got arm recording on, monitor on, and those are default when um, Audio Bus loads it for you. So let's go back to Animo. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to record into Beatmaker 2 without actually hitting the record button inside Beatmaker 2. All you have to do is hit the little icon for Beatmaker 2 and hit the record button. You'll get your count in or your pre-roll, and then you can record. Okay, let's hit stop. It keeps playing once you hit the record button, so you gotta hit the pause button too. So let's go ahead and go back to Beatmaker 2. And there you have it. You see your audio is recorded right in here. Let's go ahead and go to the beginning and play it. And there you go. And now what happens is um, Beatmaker 2 creates an audio file inside your folder. So it's already saved into your, your directory. So if I were to go into my drum machine and I wanted to slice that sample up, I could just go to the, uh, the sample tab, go to load sample, go to my content, and here it is. I, I'm not really a big fan of that. I, I'm not sure if there's a setting. I'm going to look for that to see if you can uh, change that. So the one that it recorded was a01 underscore 010.wave. So I'm going to open that up, and you can autoplay it to see if that's the one you uh, you just recorded, and it is. 
So I'm going to go ahead and load that. So you can load it there as well. Also, let's, see, let's clear that. You can go into your chop lab. So if you want to chop that sample, you can open the sample, find it in here. You just got to remember what the name was. That's it. Load it. And there it is. You can add your slices. Just doing random slices. Okay. Let's see, save as, um, save as AIF format. We'll just go ahead and save it in here. New file, saving the sample, create a preset. Same thing, hit save, okay. And there you go. Yeah, they're all in one shot though. go so that is how you get audio from other apps uh, recorded directly into beatmaker 2 using um, using audio bus uh, I've been waiting for this for a long time I'm glad it's here uh, there's a couple little improvements I want to see like you know the file where, where it records the files so I'd like to be able to have an option of where I want to record those files to but I'm just glad it's here so uh, yeah I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did, go ahead and like, rate, um, comment, and uh, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.